if it isn't that knucklehead. Shouldn't you be protecting the Master Emerald like you always do? Sorry! Rouge took it, and I'm about to get it back. How about you come with me, Shadow? You sound like you don't care. I'll go as long as you don't fall asleep after the last time we worked together. I shouldn't have bought us two cheese pizzas during our previous adventure. Hey! I was in a food coma! If we just had one pizza, then I wouldn't be sleeping! Besides, I know I'm getting it back, because Eggman is on vacation, so we only need to find Rouge. Fair point. You're basically Patrick Starr sometimes with your gluttony and occasional laziness, but at least you actually work out. I went on vacation at a bad time. I heard someone stole the Master Emerald. I guess I should steal it too. Fat chance, Eggman! Shadow and I are teaming up to get it before you do! I knew Robotnik lied again. At least Sonic and Amy are in Paris, and Tails is at Six Flags with Cream, so it's up to me and Knuckles. We better find Rouge and the Master Emerald first before Eggman does. It's settled now as a race, then. Not if I get there first, Knucklehead. By the way, Shadow, if you change your mind and join me, you're more than welcome to ask. Sorry, but no, Doctor. I'm staying with Knuckles. He may be a buffoon, but he's vital to helping me find the Master Emerald. That's the spirit, Shadow! Are you sure you boys need the Master Emerald, or are you fighting over me? No! We need the Emerald, like always! Quit clowning around, Rouge. Just give us that damn Master Emerald. You two are gonna have to catch me first. Same with Eggman! I'm not as much a good guardian of the Emerald as I once was. No wonder I wasn't as involved in Frontiers and the Master Emerald being Persona Non Grata. Time to do what I did back in Adventure 2. You're going back to being a treasure hunter after breaking the Master Emerald, aren't you, Knuckles? I better stop Robotnik from getting the pieces. Exactly! If only the games had me more involved doing some Indiana Jones missions, but Sonic obviously steals the spotlight. Come on, not again. Why does this happen every time? I guess a lady has to clean up a man's mess. Knuckles isn't the only treasure hunter. That's me. I don't think so, Batgirl. After finding the shards last time, it'll be a cinch this time. And I made sure it didn't break as much. Might as well take that vacation for real this time. That knucklehead always ruins the fun. Shadow Rouge. How about we team up one more time for old time's sake and we can conquer the world together? We've tried that a million times, and we failed constantly. Besides, I've been more of my own person than sticking with you, Doctor. And I've been getting all the precious jewels of the world lately. Even though I love being queen of the world, even I can't stay with you again, Eggman. Well, screw you two. I got Orbot and Cubot anyway. They may be bumbling scraps of metal. They're my loyal robots that will be with me forever. That reminds me, I better rebuild Boko and Deco. You better not bring back Bokun from Sonic X. Speaking of which, my voice is slightly higher than my four kids' counterpart. I'm glad there wasn't any exaggerated saxophone music in my scenes in Sonic Prime. Don't worry! Bokun was annoying and constantly made explosions. And by the time Sonic X was finished, Metal Sonic came back and killed him with a grenade like a taste of his own medicine. I gotta go back to Rio and create a robotic cruise in the beach of Brazil. What a relief. Eggman's gone. Where's Shadow and that echidna? I was helping Knuckles finding the pieces of the Master Emerald. My speed did a lot of the work, and Knuckles returned with the Emerald to Angel Island and fell asleep again. I installed cameras so you or other thieves won't show up there. It feels good to be back home on Angel Island. So what if I'm an idiot? I'm the strong one of Team Sonic, and I finish my main task with another hedgehog. I guess I should just go back and look for more jewelry. Wait, Shadow. I heard you said that you fantasized about me, that I'd shove my heel up your urethra. Is that true? Ooh. I only said that to be cool to the fans, and that I have a bigger and better urethra than Hank Hill from King of the Hill. That Hank has bad physical body parts. 
No cushion on his ass, low sperm count, a bad back, and a narrow urethra. Okay, you better not say that to Hank or he'll kick your ass like he says in his show. Plus, everyone fantasizes about me all the time. That's why I'm not mad. I'm just curious. Knuckles also dreams of me being his dominatrix, so you're definitely not the only one of the people I know closely that wants me. What a relief. Knuckles is weirder than me. Also, Hank Hill could never catch my speed, so, in other words, I could kick his ass faster than his son Bobby kicking someone in the groin for his purse. Not even with a Chaos Emerald I could win a fight against that Texas-loving Hank Hill within a few seconds. I guess so. I gotta get going. I heard a sparkling pearl necklace and I better get it. It'll look so good on me. Ta-ta, Shadow! It, did we miss something, Shadow? We just came back from Paris, and I got you a baguette, a beret, and a croissant. I've been learning a lot of French. Watch this! Je suis un hérisson rose qui revient tout juste de vacances romantiques à Paris avec mon copain. It means... I'm a pink hedgehog who just got back from a romantic vacation in Paris with my boyfriend. That's very good, Amy. Anyway, Rouge took the Master Emerald again, and Knuckles and I instantly looked for the emerald pieces, and Eggman came back, despite being on vacation, but we quickly saved the day. Now Knuckles is back on Angel Island, with the Master Emerald and Rouge, went looking for a pearl necklace. It's great that you and Knuckles handled everything without me. I was pretty busy in Paris doing typical French tours with Little Miss Rose here. We rode bikes, took a selfie in front of the Eiffel Tower, and tried fancy food, including escargot, which is snails. It made me feel bad, like I was eating Gary from SpongeBob. I thought I was eating chicken at first, until Sonic pointed that out. I think fancy food doesn't sit well in my tummy. I learned that the hard way after eating steak tartare. How should I say it? Cela m'a provoqué une intoxication alimentaire et j'ai beaucoup vomi pendant notre trajet en avion pour rentrer chez moi. It means it made me get food poisoning and I vomited a lot during our plane ride back home. It's true. She had to get ginger ale to stop her from puking her guts out. Now she's all better. I guess after eating from that restaurant unintentionally named after me, I got used to stomach pain and avoiding certain food. It takes a lot to me to vomit. I either got to be very ill or eat something rotten. Seems like you two hedgehogs had a lot of fun in Paris. Now we have to do more podcasts again. How about we talk about glitter now that you mentioned escargot since that's what Billy Frank had in that god-awful garbage movie. Or even better! What if glitter had a game? That's more interesting than the movie itself! I love that idea! A video game based on glitter it is then! What could be better than a video game adaptation of Glitter? A new character in the game, with the voice and likeness of pro wrestler and Fozzy frontman Chris Jericho. You just read my mind. Honestly, this will be more original than our look back at Sonic X. Well, that's all for this skit. It went from Knuckles and Rouge to me and Sonic, but Shadow was the star. That's right, Pink Hedgehog. Now it's my turn to say it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Juan CL, and stay tuned for more videos. Remember to click on the bell so you won't miss anything. Peace out, and rock on, Edgelords.